My name is Joy Henderson. I live in Scarborough. I'm a child and youth worker and mother of three. I am an Afro-Indigenous person. I've lived in Scarborough for 20 years, and the 20 years prior to that, I grew up in Regent Park. And I guess that's about it. I have a puppy, two cats, and a snake. <laughs> so I'll smell things like the linden trees are very big trigger for me in terms of memories for summers in Regent Park, right? Or, you know, a certain smell of like when someone's frying up like onions and garlic in an apartment building, like you can smell that through the entire floor, right? But ultimately it's people who make up that sense of home. And so when I go to different community events or if I, you know, go back down to Regent because my mom lives in a co-op there. So, you know, and I'll go and see and there's a lot of actually like old school Regent Park people who live in that co-op. And you know, I'll just go and talk with someone and pick up like like we never left off for 20 years, right? You know, it's just like, oh okay, this is Regent, right? Or you know, I'll go to a community event and, you know, an Afro-Indigenous community event. And you're just welcome, you're home, you're with your people. You know, you're treated like family. It doesn't matter whether you are fully reconnected or if your status or, you know, what your blood quantum is, you're home with your people. And even to a degree with Scarborough, I feel at home. Like I can feel myself just kind of relax as I drive past a border. And it's just like, I feel safer just because, you know, in terms of diversity, it is like, you know, probably the most diverse area in Toronto. So like, I can just be with people not worried about like having to necessarily deal with a white microaggression. It's certainly not ex saying that doesn't exist, but I feel like it's a little bit lesser in Scarborough. And, you know, the white people who are here, you know, she know better than to try it. <laughs> so, but yeah, I don't feel like I'm under a microscope of like, whiteness i feel like i can blend more or i can just relax i can go and have a conversation with like you know a woman while we're waiting in line for roti or something like that <laughs> and so yeah and again it's the people it's nothing you know necessarily specific about home it's people in region it was just the community events right it didn't matter where people came from in the world we all enjoyed whatever community event it was so it was sunday in the park where we'd have like blow up tents or whatever for kids and raffles and all this fun stuff or block arama where like you know people get together and dance all night and the kids would scurry around during the day with the old ladies selling their food sort of thing or you know even various holiday parties and you know we would attend like you know eid parties or you know the muslim community would attend our christmas parties right it was just like a chance to get together eat food you know sit on santa's lap or whatever right and so it was just that you know kind of it didn't really matter the event we just kind of used that excuse to get together and eat food and laugh and collaborate sort of thing and so it was nice it was always you know something strong and it was funny because i know my experience in regent park right despite all the many differences there wasn't a lot of i don't know we weren't necessarily divided among them it didn't seem that way i might i could have been looking through rose colored glasses because you know i was still quite young right but like, we certainly had our groups to deal with whatever like cultural issues we were dealing with but like you know in the community groups like we always came together no matter you know who we were it was like okay we need a new playground let's get this done sort of thing and so oh we need to support the youth paper okay we've got this yes all right let's go yell at this politician together perfect yes all right and so and it was just that kind of solidarity and so it just kind of left an impression on me that yes it can be done right and that's kind of like what i like i kind of think when i charge forward no matter what I do, but you know, it's kind of like, we can do this, we can do it respectfully, we can do it carefully so everyone's heard, and I've seen it done before, so I have hope that it can be done again. <laughs>